Like to open a uh, regular scheduled monthly meeting of the South County EMS at 504 Thursday night. What's today, the 19th? 19th, yes. yep. Okay. Zach, what do you have for um, the report? Are we gonna, yeah, okay. I was thinking about I'm last thinking, month's minutes. Right. No, no I we, don't think we can vote the minutes. Yeah, no, because I think so. we don't have a quorum tonight, so we're just going to have a discussion. That's fair. No yep. vote stated. Okay. <clears throat> Director's report, April 19th, 2018. So uh, we've been doing a lot of outreach. We just had the Sunderland Elementary School and the Deerfield Elementary School math, math and science fairs. Can't thank you enough for yeah, coming. Um, it was awesome. Yeah, it's, it. it's really great. I, it's, I mean, we keep getting invited back. Um, because we're so awesome. Yes, you are. Um, <laughs> uh, Deerfield Elementary School even invited us into the classrooms. We did some specific presentations to right. individual classes and oh, answered well, questions before bringing them out. Yeah, so Huge. it's, it's yeah. really great. And we still have the fun fair, right? Yes. Deerfield yep. Elementary School fun fair yep. coming up. End of the night. Um, End of the night. So, um, so that will be coming up as well. And there's a touch a truck event being hosted in Sunderland at the Sunderland Public Library. Uh, go to the Sunderland website for details. Um, I don't know if I have the date here, if I can find it quick, but that'll be at the Sunderland Public Library and, you know, fire trucks, police cars, they usually invite like Asplund or the yeah. um, electric okay, company sure. over. So come, climb around, meet our staff. It'll be a, a grand old time. Yeah. Uh, we're also doing standbys for the Wheatley Mother's Day road race, foot race, yeah. um, and the Pal Pound the Pavement event in Sunderland coming up. So right. South County EMS will be there. Um, in the off chance somebody gets injured, but it's usually just a uh, wave and congratulate the finishers. So it's great. That's good. Um, and uh, part of my responsibility as the EMS department is I go to all the Frontier Regional um, safety team meetings. And we talked about the last meeting, Stop the Bleed, uh, training, which is tourniquet training and, and right. drama stuff like that. Um, I'm a national instructor for these things, so I've reached out to the staff. They seem on board now to try to get everybody involved. They've been very proactive, thanks to the police and the state police. Yep. Um, so I'm going to reach out to, well, I have reached out to them. We're going to set up something where we can train the staff, figure out when and where to do that. And you know what, Zach, um, we just, at, at the Homeland Security meeting on Tuesday, we just approved what final voted that um, triage money for mm -hmm. the nurses and that training is going to be in the week of August before school starts. Okay. So actually if you could follow up because uh, all the school nurses it's going to be you know countywide for all the school nurses and it's open to you know the rest of the other three counties too you know mm -hmm. Western uh, Mass here but it is it's going to be um, for I mean it was our county that um, yep. Meg Birch that pushed it from Conway. So mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm hoping, and everyone is on board in our, you know, Union 38. So um, I'm hoping you could follow up and add, if they had any yeah. questions on that triage, because it's, it, it's a really good, like a three day, and it gives them con continuing ed credits and all kinds of stuff. So it's a really good program. Right. Um, it's an MCI, you know, training. So if you could just talk about your mass casualty incident training yeah. and, and then yeah. how you would work with them and follow up and, and do that. That would be fabulous yeah. because be a great time. Yeah, that would that would be really good. And 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 if you had some feedback on it for me to take back to the council if we needed further training or if you thought there were some questions that needed, then I can because we have some extra money and we, are, we need to spend it for um, December so that would be uh, more, training. more yeah. training if there was follow-up training as a result of your outreach um, if you thought of anything I mean we just not it's not a lot of money but yeah. it's enough to do like an in-service day or something like that yeah so that would be good thank thanks, you thanks for doing all that yeah I, awesome. I, that's wonderful Zach yeah you know I mean part of it is I've been so busy this past couple of years you know running about South County mess but I've got the resources and the knowledge and it seems like a lot of the other agencies you know we talked about last month how the police are now kind of seeing the benefit of integration Absolutely. with EMS so now that everybody else is kind of coming around and things are getting slow on my plate yeah. um, I shouldn't say slow but, but at least I've got some more more time to you know start yeah um, 
extending those. And that's exactly what we're hoping for. That's yeah. What, yeah, that's what exactly what we're hoping for. Yeah, is yeah. Right, and and it's just, but just being the, you know, working with them and and having face time with them, just makes any incident. I mean, it doesn't have to be a terrible yeah. thing. It just mm -hmm. any incident is so much better. So thank you, Zach. I'm, I, I, this is it. the kind of stuff that yeah, is excited. really, yeah. really important to me, and I, I and all of us, mm -hmm. and that's why we're so supportive of, of you doing yeah. this outreach. Thank yeah. you. Uh, I mentioned last month the upcoming mentor meeting, then upcoming now, it has since passed, so three department paramedics and one EMT basic um, have completed their orientation and training program, right. and medical control has given them full clearance. So they're in the shuffle now, able to respond to calls, um, and able to uh, work without uh, direct supervision. So that's great. And then a fourth department paramedic um, is scheduling with medical control in the very near future. So I okay. imagine by the time we meet again, the yeah. update will be that she's fully cleared as well. So that's great. Uh, we're sending a bunch of our personnel to a grant funded pre-hospital traumatic life support class PHTOS mm -hmm. um, is being conducted in Northampton this upcoming weekend. I'm actually one of the instructors for it. Right. Um, but we're sending a bunch of our staff there who don't already have it and some people who need to be recertified in it. This is the gold standard for pre-hospital traumatic life support. This is still finding somebody, like yeah. if there's an incident, it's treating them before they get to the hospital. Yeah, so the idea is we have advanced cardiac life support, which is our certification for treating somebody who's having a heart attack or whatever. This is its analog in the trauma field. So somebody who's suffering from any sort of traumatic injury, this is the standard that everybody is held to. It's not a required um, class, unlike ACLS, which is. Yep. Pre-hospital traumatic life support, the state says, we understand it's the gold standard, but we're not gonna mandate it. Okay. But we do appreciate we that this is the standard. Yeah. Do it. So yeah. great funded training has come around, so we're sending as many people as nice. we can. Um, it'll, it'll have a nice turnout, and this will segue nicely into that discussion I had last month, which expanding our scope and identifying people who want to work with the area departments in case there's a large scale emergency. Right. This is the building block for that. So the people that have an updated PHT OS and are certified in that <clears throat> will be our pool from which we pull for the additional trainings and, and mm -hmm. coordinating with the other departments. So this is a great opportunity and I'm glad awesome. that we can send yeah. a lot of people to it. So that's, that's, a, that's a two day class, it's a 16 hour class. Um, and the certifications are good for two years. And that's this weekend? Somewhere? That's this weekend, yeah, right. the JFK Middle School. So awesome. the city of Northampton is extending that facility to nice. allow us to use it, and it's all grant funded, so that's very that's great. Great news. Uh, more great news, the facility. Yeah? Heretofore known as 88 Greenfield Road. Oh, um, an address. The, the construction is done. Uh, so there's, oh. some, there's some finished work, they're, they're finishing painting the outside. Um, my understanding is they um, they will be paving it as well, but the construction is done. So Great. Dick Kalachewski, who's been in charge of it, um, the decision at this point is, well, there's no more interference that can be made because everything is done. Um, so we've started the dialogue um, with DA. They're going to provide the information as far as what appliances the kitchen was spec'd for, um, what generator the electricity is spec'd for, and I'm expecting. Good. Yep. Um, and I've started coordinating with Comcast and Verizon and making sure that those services are transferred over or hooked up. So now that we can work with Tom, I was able to have him unlock the door and show the Comcast guy where the conduit runs and things like that. So all those things are, are now kind of in place. Good. The plan for um, handover is the 15th of next month. Okay. So May 15th is the date set for Deerfield Academy to hand the keys to the town of Deerfield. Wonderful. Um, That's really good. It's oh, a Tuesday. So grateful. Okay. Um, and it's halfway through the month, which is why yeah. we picked it. Uh, okay. The following week, uh, May 20th through the 26th, is National EMS Week. Mm -hmm. um, so we were planning on doing an open house, a ceremony, ribbon cutting on Saturday, May 26th. Okay. Um, so that will give us about a week and a half um, to... I think we can do it. I think we can too. Yeah, um, it's complete, but it's... It'll be, I, you know, I would, I would hope that we can move our operations over um, soon. You know, we need to make sure in the very least that we have internet connectivity and telephones. 
Um, and we need our drug licenses and stuff to be transferred over. So there's some administrative stuff there. Um, but otherwise, you know, we can, even if we just dragged what we have now across the parking lot, we're not any worse off. In fact, we're better. We can be, we'll be in one location and centrally located. Um, Do you think they'll have paving done by then? Uh, my understanding is paving is already scheduled for early May. So right. it will so be, be done. Yeah. Um, awesome. That is awesome. So in That's order for us to, to, to transfer operations, it'll be uh, internet, telephone, um, the state, fire state license, yeah, state license, state license um, and fire alarm monitoring. Uh, Kevin Scarborough, who's in charge of the town of Deerfield facilities. Okay. Um, he's coordinating with the installer of the alarm system to make now sure that's all to make sure safe. that's all. Yep. Okay, good. Um, that's what we absolutely need, need to move operations over. And then there's the issue of furniture. Mm -hmm. um, As uh, Kip was, and have you guys had any further meetings just to figure out what we need or no? You haven't heard from No, anybody? but last month you guys were supposed to vote on the $50,000, you know, from the budget or from the... Kip and I came up with, we'll spend up to $50,000 to equip it, including okay. generator furniture. So, so we need to vote it Video here. security. So we have but it's coming seven. out of... The retained earnings. Retained retain earnings. earnings. Okay, so, so what we need to do, we need to do is we'll have to reschedule a meeting that we have a quorum so that we can vote that recommendation. Yeah, I mean, we have in, in the FY18 budget, we have operational reserves. Yeah. Um, so, so we have at least money on hand. Well, what we decided was that we had, instead of messing up the ambulance money and yeah, all right, that kind of stuff, right. We have operating reserves of $100,000. Mm -hmm. And the reason we have operating reserves of $100,000 in case we don't have any calls right. for a while, yep. or there's a mess up in insurance payments or what. Everything on. seems to be going really good. We only go to fiscal June 30th is the end of our fiscal year. Right. So, so we have $130,000 or something just in reserves. So my thought was that we reuse those operating reserves because we truly aren't going to need them. And we just need a vote of this board to do that. We need we need a recommendation, and then we, as the selectmen of of um, you know, because we're the fiscal agent, mm -hmm. then that's the recommendation to us, and then that allows Brenda to free up the money. Okay. Let's schedule next month's meeting early. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess that's so that's that's my question here is you know for the things. Well, we like, kind of want to do that anyway, yeah. just so that we can sort out how how. I mean, we should have a plaque or something. And, yeah. Oh yeah, we need. Well, yeah. So, but I'm thinking like you know stuff like oh, if we need extra dressers, if we need extra desks, that can come. But I'm thinking like right. you know the bare minimum stuff. You know, so we're not Fire sitting on milk sure. crates. Yeah. Um, you know, supplying with milk crates. Um, you know, and I'd like to. My hopes would be that we could have kind of a, a bare minimum in the building for our open house. So when people, you know, like, so, so we could be operating over there and people could walk through it and, and kind of see. Um, Absolutely, because you want to come in. Yeah. And there's enough stuff that everybody around has stuff that we could, you know, yeah. we could get in there too. Um, so, I mean, there's some chairs and stuff. Yeah. There's extra chairs around. Um, so we, we, what we could do is once we get, you would know going over there what is in there and then sort of making sure we have a minimum list. And Zach we'll already has a list made up of stuff right. that needs. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and I'll... Generator, we need the proper output and stuff like that from the construction supervisor. We couldn't get that information yeah. a couple months ago, but now we can, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. right, so now that there's that conversation back and forth, we'll know that stuff. I'll go back over my list now that I've physically been inside that space and, and just double check and see what we're looking at. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think like there's like I said, there's the stuff that we need just to operate. Then there's like these things, like a minimum furniture, is place to sit, um, and then beyond that, when we talk about um, access control, the um, exhaust system, things like, you know, like that's not immediate. It's something that like, you know, if we start getting bids and looking at that and playing for that in the next few months, you know, right. that's, you know, that's fine. But, but I was thinking want, about. Yeah, make sure it's like carbon monoxide. Well, that's the thing, you know, so these, those are things that like need to be done in the near future, but aren't pivotal for us to, to move operations and get there, everything yeah. over yeah. there. No, so that sounds, that sounds what, do you, what do you guys think? Um, should we meet early in the month, or should we meet? I mean, we have uh, um, a little crazy. I mean, the seventeenth of May is our scheduled meeting because that's a third Thursday. But um, how about we meet the first Thursday? How about the third? Mm, Do you have anything on? I there? have something at, at six, but I could meet at five. I have a conflict at five. Uh, oh. So then we could meet. It does it have to be a Thursday. Can it be a Friday? Yeah. Could be anything, really. Yeah. We, how Friday about Friday the fourth? How about Friday the fourth? Yeah. Oh, Boys' birthday. Oh, oh, oh happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Oh, All right. Can we the, meet Tuesday? We'll do a meeting Tuesday the first? Tuesday the first? That's the day uh, after town meeting. Out. Oh oh you know what? We were thinking of moving our selectmen's meeting to that night. Yeah. We have school committee yeah, on school Wednesday. Committee on Wednesday. Um, uh, well how about I think we only need like the seventh? Oh no, that's good. I have no. Right. Right. Well do we want to meet next what's next Thursday? Um you want to meet next Thursday? Yeah, we could meet next Twenty sixth. Twenty sixth. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Do you want to, What time do you want to meet on the? Um, six. 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 Okay. Six p.m. on the twenty sixth. Okay. And that'll be for the purpose of sorting out um, the funds. And what, what what's most and maybe primary, you can have that list yeah. of what's yeah. most primary and so not a meeting notice and so we can get a quorum. Yes, definitely get a quorum on that. Yeah. Because if people sense. respond immediately that they can't make it then we get a primary yeah. date. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then that'll we'll vote on the funds, then that'll go to the different select board, yeah. which will vote to which would vote on well, well we have a meeting on the twenty fourth. We have, well, we're going to have a meeting on the um, 25th, right? Well, no, we're going to... Oh, right. Uh, to well, the first? I think Wendy first? Had, Yeah, to the first. To the first. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then that'll that'll free up the, the funds so we can purchase anything that isn't being donated or we don't have on hand. Right. Um, yeah. For Just that. make sure you circulate the list of stuff that you yeah. do need, so in case somebody has something somewhere. Yeah, we no, that's, everyone has questions, so you can yeah. answer those ahead of time. And there are other people that we can ask for stuff, so. Um, that is great. I know um, DA says, you know, if we, with the generator and the appliances, they can install those things. If we have them there. Yeah. Great. Right? Yeah. That'd be great. Um, so. All right. Get all that done before the games. Keys get handed over, that'd be great. Yeah, well, this, this is what I'm thinking. So yeah. that's, you know, that's enough clearance from the 15th that when the keys get handed over, you know, and that even it's gives us, separation. you know, wiggle room if we have to order something, you know, for yeah. it to be delivered. So that's yeah. great. Um, awesome. That's great news. Oh, I like how things come together. What else you got there, Mr. Zerk? What else do I have here? Okay, so so we'll, we're planning, I'm going to put out a press release and announcement about the open house on the 26th. Yeah. Um, It'll, it, like I said, it'll be in the morning. D, I guess that's D8 commencement. Um, the 26th? Yeah, but they said that if we do it in the morning, they can they can make it a point to be there. Yeah, so. You sure you want to do it that day? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's any EMS week, and I'd like right. to just, yeah, you know, tie it all off with a bow. Yep. And, and, um, and honestly, and once their graduation, there, and, right, once your graduation, right, once your graduation has gone, they're, they're gone. They're gone. But they'll have a lot of people in town, maybe, that will come. Maybe. Yeah. We'll come um, for that. So. Right. I still the want, trustees I, might be there. Right. Yeah, so I still need to coordinate a little bit, but I was thinking maybe a 9 a.m. ceremony, yeah. you know, and then open house going through maybe 2 in the afternoon yeah. or 4 in the afternoon. Bird, the fly over and everything. Fly over, yeah, right. Blues Angel, Blue, Blue Angels. Um, <laughs> hamburgers, hot dogs, maybe get the ice cream truck to come down, you know, um, that type of stuff. So I think I told them Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's 26. I'll, I'll make a blast press release. It'll go up on the Facebook page. 
Yeah. Zach, that's really yeah. wonderful. I think that's very exciting. Town meeting announcement. Yeah. yeah, we should announce. It's very exciting. Oh, it's so exciting. It is. I'm so happy. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing on the docket is uh, <laughs> it's about my salary. <laughs> Again? It's what? a little confusing. Um, so I included. What is this? I'm not to the area. Right until the last minute again, and we're in the same situation we were last year. I, well, basically, what it boils down to, the short of the long of it is, I'm still receiving my FY17 salary because it was never changed or adjusted. No, what happened is, what happened is you got a pay raise, but it was a pay raise based on the old schedule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was not the new schedule. It was it was and a retroactive FY seventeen right pay raise. So when and, and so it, got, it kept getting screwed up. When the town transitioned to in FY eighteen to a new classification compensation study, I worked with Wendy Foxman, the personnel committee, to basically figure out translate what everybody's rate is in the old salary to what it would be in the new salary. Um, under the old plan, steps were 80 cents. So in that translation, if their raise was less than 80 cents, they got a step as well um, when we made the translation. And that all got approved through all the boards and, and everything. Wendy was concerned about my salary being set without a formal recommendation of the Board of Oversight. Mm -hmm. So as a result, in going into FY18, even though we budgeted for an adjustment, it was no. never actually changed. Because it wasn't voted here and then recommended. Yeah. So throughout FY18, I still received the FY17. Now that we're oh, going into F18. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now that we're going into FY19, the question is, what are we doing? Um, I included the um, this three-column sheet here. I guess it's technically a five-column sheet, but it's broken down to um, all of the full-time employees, including myself, and how their first their steps and grades are translated to the new system. So Seventeen actual. 17 new scale. And then the yeah, FY18 budgeted. So so the the 19 it ha it has the cola. Um has the cola. 19 we budgeted for step and cola for all employees. The only exceptions are the one person who's already maxed out, he's been with the department for 17 something yeah. years. So he's just at a cola. At a cola. Um, and then me, based on a recommendation, was, well, let's budget for a cola on my current salary, which is my FY17 salary. Um, so that's what we ended up budgeting for. The 3678. Correct. Um, OK, so the 3678 is what you should be getting in 19 versus the 3606. Well, no. Well, it depends what your definition because, of should be getting is. <laughs> okay, yeah, but listen, how, how could you go from 3611 and 17 to 3606? So I'm still at 3606. This in, is where you are. Now. In 17, the equivalent under the new schedule would be 3611, back in 17. Right. Because that was less than an 80 cent raise, mm -hmm. then it was translated to 3755. And that's applying the same rules as all the other full timers received. And you're still at 36.06. Correct. So, so that's why the FY18, my salary line item, it was higher than what I was receiving. Because we budgeted for 37.55, even though I was receiving 36.06. So then FY19 comes. And you just get the cola on whatever you were. On, my, on the 36.06. It's not even on what the, the FY18. So it's not even an 80 cents increase. It's only a 72 cent increase. Mm -hmm. But this is. Yeah, it's, since FY17. So. It so never happened. And FY18 never happened for him. Yeah, FY18 never happened for me. Because um, when we voted his salary last the end of last year, we were still a year behind. Right. And, and he had to get retro pay yeah. at the end of last year. Right. So, I, I mean, there's two, there's two things here. One of them is 
what are we doing in FY19? Mm -hmm. And then the other is moving forward. Do we want to continue to do a thing where specifically, you know, vote we vote it here, or do we say, absent of a specific salary recommendation on any employee, we apply the rules that are being applied to everybody? To everybody. Well, I think, yes, we have to have the rules apply to everybody. But we also can vote and, well, I, I just don't see how we can keep messing up on this. Because 3606 versus 3611, okay, mm -hmm. that was where the mistake was. Because 3606, $36.06 was the old Was rate. the old class 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 and class what, what and were you before class 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 Before we gave you the retroactive class 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 Before we got you up to 3606. Uh, that was FY16. Yeah. Can we have a meeting with like the three of us uh, sometime so we can discuss this and okay, have a vote on it next month? Because yeah. what happened is we went through, it went through, we and we voted it as, at our meeting at 3606 instead of 3611, which was, was mm -hmm. the correct. No, no vote was ever taken on my salary. On this here. He's just, oh, here, I right. know. But yeah, the yeah. select board. Select board voted 3606 instead of 3611. Mm -hmm. And so that was the first mess up, is because we used the old compensation rate of 3606. So yeah, well, there's a, we were shorting him basically five cents an hour for a whole year. And well, then, that was, well. And then we budgeted. No, well, I, I'm going to go even further and say that was just what the equivalent was if if we had applied the same rules to me as was applied and approved to everybody else my rate would have been 37.55 right because you would have gotten that 80 cents just because it was less than 80 cents right like because we're yeah. going into the and new that's year where we got the met i think that's what happened with the mess up is because then, then not only were we five cents off in the shift but then because it was less than an 80 cent raise we never applied the 80 cent raise so it became 85 cents. People, I think maybe people had a hard time going from 37, 31.25 to 37.55. Right. It was the issue. Right, was. but but that was truly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there was a question of optics, right? I mean, getting yeah. a retro. Like, I totally get that. Yeah. I totally right. get it. And which is whether it's shame on me or forward. not. Why I haven't been stomping my feet so, on this because I appreciate that and I don't want to come yeah, across as. I, a, I got you. No, um, no, no, Zach, it's, it's terrible. It's good but to so, have it out there. But we budgeted thirty-six seventy-eight, which is seventy-two cents. So it's not the eighty cents. So then right. automatically you should be getting eighty cents and not. And right now you're well, and that's only step. 72 cents over a salary that's two years old when right. every other employee has received a step every year and are now step and cola. Right. I know. So, <laughs> I, I mean, realistically, what if. What are you doing next Thursday morning? <laughs> it, you can sit down and have this in front of us and mm -hmm. come back here and explain yeah. it. Yeah. What do we, we do that to the rest of them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, if, if the same rules had been applied to me as everybody else, I would have. My FY17 was equivalent to a step eight, and then because it was less than 80 in FY18, I would have gone to a step nine, and then in FY19, it would have been another step. Which is your 10, and you would have maxed out. Correct. So I think somehow we've got to get up to the 10. The step 10? Yeah, because FY19, this next year, is truly the step 10. And he's just, and that's all he gets is cola from now on, mm -hmm. because there are no more steps. But we've got, we've never voted. What we have to do is we have to articulate. We have to meet and then articulate yeah. this to our board. And then we have to articulate it to to this board to vote, mm -hmm. to forward it to, to the select, select board. board, and somehow we've got to explain it with Brenda um, and go through the things because. You're you're still going to be off, and that, and and it's not fair to get a seventy-two cent raise when everybody when the rule is eight, eighty cents or whatever. You know what I mean? Everybody gets eight, yeah. Everybody gets that eighty cents. 
Uh, yeah, that was under the old plan. Under the yeah. new plan, it's a percentage or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'll sit yeah. down next week and put it down on paper so okay. everybody can oh, see it and explain it. Okay. Yes, because we, we have to, the, the last Let's thing you want to do. the board next year. Yes, and the last thing you want is people to accuse you of doing all these things. But in truth, you, were, you have been working for far less than what you should have been working for. I, I think, mean, not far less, but you know, it adds up. Yeah, I mean, what will happen is when it comes to appointment time, you know, I submit the, you know, whatever the understanding is based on the BOO and the personnel committee, and then the appointment paper is drafted up with, right. with a vote and recommendation from the BOO. I will include that in the appointment paperwork that mm -hmm. is for all the full time staff. I mean, that's, that would be the process moving forward. I don't think that, you know, there's no retroactive thing. There's nothing about having to, like, mm -hmm. you know, clear or explain or anything like that. It was just for FY19. You know, I'm, like I said, like, even though I've been shorted for FY18, like, I, like, I, like I'm okay. I get the optics. Like, I'm not here for that. So if we can fix it for FY19 and then figure out what, what we're doing moving ahead, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, I don't. Yep. We just. We have all we have to show is that it was our mistake in the translation of, of all the you know from the old comp schedule to the new comp schedule, and then moving you know, forward. And then yeah, moving right. Forward. And we just kept getting behind. I was lost in the shuffle because you know Wendy or whoever was looking for you know formal recommendation. It didn't happen. I know. Okay. So we have to make the formal recommendation that goes to us to get going. Okay. What else is going on? No, that was it. Totally what else? Totally <laughs> totally <laughs> calls, totally calls, going. Uh, calls are doing great. Um, we got called up. Somebody. Oh, thousand. Yeah. Um, we, slow, a little slow in March. I think everybody is just getting in the That's doldrums from. In February. Yeah, right. I think everybody's just sick of winter and nobody's doing anything. Um, we did have a. We were in the paper the other day. We had a high profile call up on. Uh, River Road. Yeah, I actually drove right by. Was it a tree? It. Yeah. it was a um, um, gentleman in his twenties um, oh. trimming the trees along the high tension lines. Oh boy! And uh, fell. Uh, it was dispatched as forty feet. So we responded. Um, uh, not to make light of the situation, but it was um, boring and how, how uneventful it was. It went, went like clockwork. Everybody well oiled machine. Both of our paramedics got on scene, grabbed their equipment, were brought in um, with. I saw some, that vehicle, that off road yeah, vehicle yeah, that they um, get you in Shooting there. him, did really well, called for a helicopter. Just he, he was almost a mile into the woods. Yeah. So by the time just getting him out of the woods, we had the helicopter on the ground in South Deerfield. The nice. transfer came over to him, and he was flown to Springfield with um, what we understand to be non life threatening injuries. Right. Um, right. I don't know. I don't have any updates since he got to the hospital. But, but. it was really nice. That it was so well coordinated. Yeah, the your teams department. worked together. Yeah, great. Right. Right. Yeah, worked really, really nice. Worked really yeah. well. You also so. had, um, you know, two massive truck on on ninety one a couple weeks ago that were. We had back to back, back to back truck trucks um, accidents on ninety one, uh, which we responded to. Um, yeah, uh, prolonged extrication on right. one of them. Yeah, that was so a tough, tough call. Yeah, a lot of water leaking out. Yeah, that potable water. water. That yeah, water. Tens of thousands of gallons of potable water. Yeah, yeah. it, it turned, the, deeper deeper. turned the scene into a swamp pretty fast. Yeah. Thank God it was water. I know, right. so I know. Yeah. So, you guys doing right. a great job. I know there. Carolyn's got to go, so yes. we'll uh, yeah, yeah, we a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. I, I can't second it. Second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.